Hi, I'm Terry from Lacrosse Technology, and this is the WS9640 weather station. Uh, in setting this up, uh, we are going to start by removing the protective plastic coating from the screen, and you'll probably not need that again. And we're just going to set the screen aside, and uh, we actually start with our remote outdoor sensor. Uh, the sensor has a mounting bracket attached to it, and the bracket can be used from the bottom for stand up from the top for a hang down dis type display or just hanging against the wall. Uh, the, to put power up the sensor we slide the battery door open. We're going to use two AA alkaline batteries. We want to make certain we're using a fresh battery that's been voltage checked or at least a name brand battery uh, with a freshness date six years ahead of the current year or more. Once we have the power in the sensor we're just going to put that three to five feet away for the remainder of our startup and turn our attention to the display unit. Turning that over we find a stand that's built in and a battery door. We press the tab on the battery door towards the door and we're going to load this with two AAA batteries. Again we are looking for a name brand or freshness dated brand we put those batteries in and get our beep and turn the system over. We find this one's actually already picked up that outdoor sensor, uh, so we're in good shape there. We've got our forecast, a little forecast guy, a little Oscar outlook showing us that in that temperature, this is how I'm going to dress to go outside. Our indoor humidity and temperature and time and date. And we're going to use the set and the plus buttons on the back to uh, set that up and make certain that the time and the date are correct and the other settings we might want. So what we start with is uh, press and hold that set button and after about five seconds or so you'll notice we have a flashing icon down here and this is supposed to be the letter ZO for time zone. Minus five is the east coast. I'm going to set it to minus six which is central time. You can also go all the way around the world with this unit knowing your time zone. Pressing set once again, I have DST for daylight savings time. I'm going to leave this set to on if I'm in an area that doesn't have daylight savings time. Uh, Arizona, for instance, I'll push the plus button and set it off. Pushing the set button again, the time is flashing. I can manually set the time or I can wait for the atomic clock to pick up, which will usually be overnight on a clear night. To manually set the time, I press the set button. Each click is going to move at one hour. AM has nothing to the right of the hour. PM has a little PM to the right of the hour. It's a bit after 3 here, so I'll go to 3 PM. Pressing the set button again. Starts the, sec the minutes flashing. It's 3.55 actually here, so I'm just going to hold that down. It'll count in fives, and I'm going to stop a little before the 3.55 and go one click at a time for my minutes to set that. Pressing the set button again, the year flashes. I'm going to use the plus button to set it to the current year, 2011. Pressing the set button again, I have a flashing month. It is not 12-7. So I'm going to press and release on the plus button until I get to the current month, which is the eighth month. Clicking the set button once again, the date is flashing, and today is actually the 11th, so I'll use my plus button to get there. Clicking the set button one more time says, what is the day? Today is Friday. So I'm going to click my set button until I get to Friday. Pressing the set button once again, I have degrees Fahrenheit. I can use the plus button and send it to Celsius. I'm going to leave it at Fahrenheit though. Pressing the set button once again and the station is set up and operating. A couple of things I can do by just clicking on the, uh, on the uh, min max button on the back. I can show the maximum and minimum temperatures that uh, we have read. There's the minimum temperature of 78, the max of 78.6, and the time the clock was set for when it read that. Those are the outdoor temperatures. My next set of clicks show the indoor minimum and maximum. And click once again and I'm at normal operating. One of the buttons you'll notice on the back says ice alarm. And we can set that if we're expecting cold weather when we press it. Notice a little exclamation point and a snowflake shows up next to Oscar. 
and if the temperature gets to 39 degrees or lower that alarm is going to go off and allow you uh, to make whatever preparations are necessary perhaps covering tender plants in the spring and to turn it off we just press the same button